Shalom. Today we're learning the letters kaf and kuf that sound k and the new vowel sounds kubutz and shuruk. I'll tell you about that in a moment. Okay, let's start with the letter kaf. The letter kaf and the letter chaf are the same letter. The difference is let's see. Here. Let me get the Nikud out. Here you go. Um, the difference is that when the calf has a cough drop, get it? K -k, cough drop, cough drop, k -k -k, then it sounds k, and when it doesn't, it sounds just k. But today we are learning the letter kaf that has a cough drop and it sounds k, like in the words kita, which means classroom, kise, kise is a chair. Now, kaf and kuf sound the same. They both sound k, like the letter K in English, right? Now, one of the things that you need to know with the letter kuf is that when we write it, if this is the line where we're writing the letter kuf, this line will go down. We will write it, and this part will go down. So, there is uh, an animal, the monkey, we call it kof. So this seems to be the tail of the cough. And we call this letter kuf. Okay? So kaf and kuf, they both sound k. I told you that we were going to learn a new vowel sound. And the vowel sound that we're learning today is the one that sounds oo. Oo. So here it says U together, ku. That's right. Now, one of the ways that I remember this is I think of a train, and I think that the train is uh, puffing some uh, steam and saying u u. So, do you see the steam going out the train? It says u u. So, k u ku. Okay. So, so far we learned the letter kaf the letter kuf, and we learned the new vowel sound kubut that sounds u. And now I'm going to tell you the other vowel sounds that sounds u. But for that, I need to remind you that sometimes the letter vav is going to represent a consonant v. But if the letter vav has a dot, on top, it would sound O. Oh, so it will represent a vowel, the vowel O. Oh. And right now, if we are learning, oh, where is my marker? I can't find it. Okay, I'm going to start to do it with my pencil. So if the letter Vav has a little dot right here, oh, you cannot see it. Right here, imagine it. A little dot right here, right in the middle of the tummy. You punch your tummy and you say, ooh, ooh. So when the letter vav has a dot right here in the middle, it doesn't sound v, it will sound ooh. And we call that one, we call it shuruk. We don't call it vav anymore, we call it shuruk. Let me see if I can find a marker right here. Oh, I found something. Okay, so let's do it. Now it sounds ooh. So let's see if you can read this. K U sounds ku. How about here? K U sounds ku. Now I'm going to trick you a little bit. 
Do you remember this letter? Now this is not ka. See the difference? This is the letter bet. Do you remember it? It has a base. So right here it says boo. Boo! <laughs> All right, don't confuse ka k -u with b -u with bet. Wonderful. And how about here? Oh, now I'm really tricking you. It does not have a cough drop. So it's a half. So it says All right, let's practice some reading. Take a moment to read. Please pause this video and then check with me to see if you're reading correctly. Line number one. The words are Asu, Hodu, Reehu, Imru, Tamu. Line two. Yamush, Dibur, Avur, Ahuv, Katuv. Let's practice the kibbutz on line number three. Sulam, Duba, Gula, Musa, Kula. And line number four. Mushlam, Dugma, Aguda, Musva, Suka. Okay, and now we have a few more examples of the Shuruk on line number five. Asur, Hidliku, Gilul, Haamura, Ikra Uhu. And last but not least, on line number six, this is a phrase. Adam Vegila Lomdim Bakita. Adam and Gila are studying in the classroom. One more time. Adam vegila lomdim bakita. Kolakavod.